Hi, Phil with Xenonsupply.com. Today we have a 2003 Subaru WRX we'll be doing a bi Xenon HID installation on. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and get started. Here's what you need to perform this installation. We have here a standard bi Xenon HID kit uh, available on Xenonsupply.com. It's the 9007 bulb type. It comes with two ballast, the wiring harness, and the two bi Xenon bulbs. Now the Subaru WRX uh, from 2003 uses a 9007 bulb type and today we're using a 6000K color, uh, the crystal white. The tools we'll need for this installation um, are some painter's tape for the battery terminal. You're going to need either a short or extended 10 millimeter socket, socket wrench, the zip ties included in the kit, and some wire cutters. In order to get access to the passenger as well as driver side headlight housings, we'll need to remove a couple components in the engine compartment. For the passenger side, you have to remove the air intake. There are two 10 millimeter bolts, one right here and one right here, that you have to remove to get access to that headlight housing. On the driver side, you do have to remove the battery to get access to the headlight housing. Uh, they are 10 millimeter bolts here and here for the battery hold down, and you will have to remove your positive and negative terminal to lift the battery out. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we have access to the headlight housing, we can go ahead and remove the old halogen bulbs. There is a connector here for the 9007 bulb. Just go ahead and press down and pull away to release, and that should take care of the harness. Now there is a black retaining ring that it goes around the bulb. You do have to turn it counterclockwise, pull it out to remove, and your old halogen bulb should just pop out. Now the process is the same on the passenger side as well, so go ahead and do that. In order to install the new HID bulb, you have to disassemble the HID bulb first in order to get it into the housing. Right now it's in the lock position. If you turn counterclockwise, it unlocks it, and the socket comes out. The way this installs is the socket goes in first, the black retaining clip goes on top, locks into place, and then you reinsert the HID bulb and lock that into the socket shown before. Take the socket here first, insert it into the headlight housing, once that's in, take your retaining clip, or retaining ring, lock that in place, you can then take the actual HID bulb, insert, And lock that into place. The passenger side is the same process. This is how to set up the bi -Xenon wiring harness. The shorter set of cables coming from the automotive relay go to the driver's side headlight housing. The two wires shown here, the one with the fuse attached, goes to your positive terminal and the black wire from the ballast connection here goes to any ground on the chassis. Now the smaller cable here with the two pins is the bi xenon signal cable that goes to the actual headlight. And this is your replacement 9007 uh, factory harness. You want to make sure that the middle wire 
is blue, the left wire is brown, and the right wire is white. The connections going all the way across on the extended section of the harness go to the other ballast. Same process as before. This is the bi-xenon signal cable, and this needs to be grounded to the chassis. Let's go ahead and put this one in. There is an existing grounding wire we chose to use coming from the battery terminal uh, for the automotive relays uh, grounding wire. We've also gone ahead and used the bolt here for the positive terminal. You can also use the accessory port here. Uh, there's a couple other things already hooked up to it, so we chose to use this one for the demonstration. Now, we've taken our 9007 harness, plugged it together with the factory harness, as well as connected the bi -xenon signal cable coming from the HID bulb. Uh, this is all in preparation to mount the ballast, as well as plug the last part, uh, the last wire into the ballast here. Let's go over to the passenger side. There is a similar grounding bolt on the chassis frame right here that you can use. You may have to unclip the air intake right here and lift up to get access with the bolt here to loosen it as well as tighten it back up. In order to mount the ballast, you need to use the supplied mounting brackets shown here. Take the longer of the two pieces, slide it underneath. There is a hook down here that you will use clip it on and bring it over. Use the supplied nut and bolt to secure it in place. This will require a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten. As you can see, we've taken the driver's side ballast and mounted it um, parallel to where the battery is going to sit. There's a zip tie underneath using the mounting bracket as well as the zip tied here um, for the wires that lead to the bulb. Now we've cleaned up all our wiring, uh, ran it along the engine coming across to the passenger side. Now the passenger side has a zip tie right around here um, holding it right in place and we've also tidied up the wiring. We've gone ahead and taken the ballast wiring and also hooked it up to the HID bulb and that should be all our connections. So let's go ahead and put the battery back in, put the intake back on and go ahead and test these lights.